In the last video, I diagnosed and repaired a gaming computer for a family member, which you can check that out in the upper right hand corner of the screen. I'm actually thinking about making that into a part one of a series because I have a ton of videos coming up regarding this computer. The second video, which is going to be now what you're watching, is going to be on the CPU cooler in that build. That CPU cooler is called the CryoRig H5 Universal. And it's called Universal for a reason because literally the only dimension you have to worry about is if you decide to go with this CPU cooler you've got to make sure that your computer case can accept 160 millimeter tall CPU coolers the second thing is is that this CPU cooler will have absolutely no issues dissipating heat from either Intel or AMD up until you get to the point where you decide to take an Intel i9 processor and aggressively overclock with it. It comes with an installation guide. It comes with the uh, CPU socket padding, should you decide you need it, mounting brackets for the fans, product registration card, rubber grommets, and then you have your brackets for both Intel and AMD, along with a screwdriver. All right, now here's a quick look at memory clearance. Because the fan is so thin, and this looks like, to me, it's like a 140 millimeter fan, but it's so thin that it doesn't even come close to conflicting with memory, no matter how high the memory heat sinks are. In fact, if I were to take the motherboard and hold it up to the camera, you can see that there is a decent gap between the fan and the heat spreaders on the memory. So you have plenty of clearance for any memory you decide to put on here. What's your favorite CPU cooler? Go ahead and let me know in the comment section below and let me know why you like that CPU cooler so much. I know I promised that I was going to be doing an unboxing and review of the Fantex P360A. Be rest assured that that video is well on its way. I'm going to be taking all the internal components from that gaming computer in part one of this series and I'm going to be putting them into that case. But not only am I going to be doing that, we're going to be redoing the whole entire gaming setup including the desk. So like this video if you liked it, subscribe for more and I will see you in the next one.